Hi everybody, I'm going to record a quick session on how to access Canvas for any students who may not feel comfortable accessing Canvas yet or who may never have used it for any of their classes. Um, now that our classes are going online at El Camino College, it's a really good time to make sure you know how to navigate Canvas and that you feel comfortable accessing it. Um, you're always going to start here at the El Camino College homepage, and the Canvas link is always going to be up here in the top right hand corner. If you click this Canvas link, it'll take you to a new page where you can go over here to this gray and red Canvas link and click here. Uh, clicking the link will take you to the El Camino sign-in page. This is the same uh, login information that you'll use for your MyECC, for the library databases, for anything like that. Um, I'm going to sign in as myself. You'll do the same thing on your end. And this is what you'll see when you first log into your Canvas. Um, what we have here under this orange bar, we have um, announcements that go out to everybody using Canvas. This is where you'll get a lot of updates about changes about classes or resources that you will definitely want to know about. Um, if you want to, you can X out of them, but I really recommend leaving them up because they're very important and they show you how to contact the distance education office if you need some help. Um, if, you, if I scroll down a little bit, I'll see this uh, section here called the dashboard. This shows all of the classes that I'm currently enrolled in. Um, because I'm not a student, I have some slightly strange looking classes here, but you will see um, any classes such as English 1A, Math 180, you'll see all your classes reflected here in, in these tiles. Um, for this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and click one of my classes here. If I click the title of my class, it will take me to this home page right here. Um, your teacher may use this home page to post a video about themselves, to introduce themselves, to post the syllabus, or maybe to post um, uh, contact information for themselves. You should go to the home page on whatever course you're enrolled in and read what the teacher has written for you there. Um, chances are it's pretty important. When you're enrolled in a course, you will see this little to-do list over here on the right-hand side of the screen. This is really helpful because it shows you all of your upcoming assignments. Um, in this case, because I only have this one assignment, it's only showing one, but you may see four, five, even six assignments over here on the side, and you'll be able to see your course calendar right over here. Um, as you can see, I have one assignment due on April 25th, and if I view my course calendar, and if I go to April, I'll see that this assignment is automatically put into my calendar. This is a really helpful way to keep track of your assignments. I'm going to go back a page, go back to our home page here, and I'm going to go through some of these side uh, links we have. Um, in most classes, you'll see an assortment of all or more or fewer of these links. I'll go through them one by one and let you know what they are for. Um, your home page again is where your teacher might introduce themselves or give important information about your class. Announcements is where your teacher may um, uh, tell the whole class something that's very important through an announcement mode. Um, if you are able to uh, activate notifications, this is often something you'll get a notification for, whether through email or your phone. Um, if you go down to assignments, this is where you can see all the assignments that your teacher has assigned for you to do. Um, it'll give you the due dates, it'll give you how many points they're worth, and these are often what will show up in your to-do list on your home page over here. If you go down, go down to discussions, this will be a really uh, important part of your grade um, oftentimes, and the teacher will post any discussions you want to, you have to partake in um, on this page. Um, due, dates, due dates will be shown again, and you can see when the discussions are available, when they're not available. If I click on one of them, um, I can see the instructions the teacher has given me, and this is really common down here for the instructor to put a little disclaimer saying, replies are only visible to those who have posted at least one reply. This is pretty common just so that people aren't copying each other's responses or getting too influenced by what others write. And so if this shows up, all you have to do is respond to the discussion and you'll be able to see everybody else's responses. Um, if I go to the grades tab over here, I'll be able to see any grades I have for this class. Um, everything says missing here because this is kind of a, um, 
not a real live class right now. Um, if you go down to people, this will show you everybody enrolled in your course as well as their role. For instance, I'm the teacher in this course, but I also have a librarian added. And if this were a real course, I would have a whole bunch of students. Um, if I go down here to where it says quizzes, this is where the teacher um, may uh, show any quizzes they want you to take as part of the class. You can click on each title and take the quiz. If I click on modules, this will show me all the different parts of the course and uh, let me access them either in order or out of order. Um, and if I head to Google Drive right here, this is very useful. Um, uh, most of us, some of us may not have uh, Microsoft Word or um, Microsoft Office at home. So if you want to complete your assignment on Google Drive, you have a link right here in Canvas that will help you do that. Um, and uh, Canvas and Google have a, um, a kind of software agreement so you can submit things from your Google Drive directly to Canvas without too much hassle. Um, I want to go down here and show you these couple links right here. Library resources. This is a guide that librarians are putting together right now on kind of uh, circumstances for while classes are online. So you can come here, you can click around, get some help, you can access the library webpage, you can find out how to talk to the librarians through live chat, uh, which will be uh, staffing anytime the library is open. Um, as, as well as a link for faculty for your instructors. Um, if you head down to NetTutor, um, this is a link where you can get online free tutoring. Um, this isn't showing up simply because I'm not a student in this role, um, but if you click here, you'll be able to chat live with tutors, you'll be able to get help, um, and all without leaving your house, which will be important um, while classes will be online at El Camino. Um, so that's kind of a basic walkthrough of your course. If you head over then to where it shows calendar and inbox, these are the two uh, final things I want to show you. If you hit calendar, just like we saw on the previous page, the calendar will auto-populate all your assignments. So you'll see where all your assignments are due. Um, in my example, I just have the one assignment, so I see when it's due here. Um, and if I head to my inbox, this is where um, and this will show up if you if you have access in your shell. Um, this is where you can contact your professor, you can contact other people in your course, which is really helpful. So you can ask people like, hey, I, um, I need some help on this one assignment. Can I get some help from my peers before going to the professor? You can contact the librarian, the TA, the counselor, whoever is assigned to your class. Um, and this will hopefully get them a message as quickly as possible. So if we leave the inbox area and head back to the courses area, I'll head back to the course that I'm enrolled in, uh, where we started on the home page. Um, and this is where I'll end our tour. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us for some help. Um, all of our contact information uh, will be included with this guide. Um, and if you're having trouble navigating Canvas, there are lots of people who can help you out. Um, so for now, thanks a lot for watching. Um, and if you have questions, reach out to us and we'll be happy to answer them. All right, have a great day.